Hey everyone, uh, today we are going to talk about the difference between market net flow which we call MNF and then daily deltas which we call DEX. So what's the difference between MNF and DEX? How do you actually differentiate them? How do you actually play them? And is there a way to actually combine them for better profits and for better plays? So that's the topic of this video because uh, I see a lot of confusion on how to play DEX and how to play MNF and are these similar? How do you differentiate? Uh, so let's clear those things up in this video so if uh, I'll, I'll link uh, the videos on sort of detailed explanation of what market net flow and what tax is in the description of this video uh, in the description of this video but uh, i'll assume uh, that you know that you know what market net flow and tax are so still uh, just to recap market net flow is a day trading tool uh, that gives you cumulative premiums from calls and puts so if a line goes up then that means more buying and if the line goes down, uh, that means more selling. White is the S&P's or SPY's price. So this day on Friday, we see a very bearish uh, options flow, which is why puts are going up and calls are going down. That means more puts are being bought and uh, more calls are being sold. And that's why we went down almost all day. And then right below, we have the market tax, which is the daily deltas, which is very similar to what market net flow does. But instead of looking at cumulative premiums like market net flow does, uh, daily deltas or market tax actually looks at deltas and the calculations are slightly different uh, to make it more suitable to swing trading or to make it more suitable to predict next day's direction. Uh, let's actually uh, just look at the last uh, 60 bars because that will make things clearer. And then let's also disable the moving average uh, so what we see uh, on, on Thursday, we had a green bar and uh, the green, a green bar means that flow for that particular day was very bullish, but the way we play DEX, so flow for that day was, let's say bullish. If you were going to day trade, day trade, you would simply look at market net flow. Let's actually do that. Uh, let's go to Thursday and you can see that flow was actually very bullish. Uh, so you, you can watch the market net flow videos on how do you actually play market net flow in order to make day trades so you just do that you won't really look at the market deck so if again if you are a day trader and not a swing trader then you should stop right here and just skip the market decks altogether you should just be using the market net flow tool okay so with that clear let's actually go back uh, so this video is specifically for people who are somewhere between the the day traders and swing traders sometimes let's assume they're day trading and sometimes they just want to spend five minutes go into a play and stop so this is a video for those people and so okay so we had a bullish uh, mm, bullish bar on thursday which told us that uh, flow is bullish so what the strategy that we play with dex is we either buy at close let's say a call contract because flow was bullish or shares or we buy at the open of the next day and then we sell at the close of the next day. So the bar for the current day is making a prediction. Not It's not just surfacing how flow looks like today. It is also making a prediction for how tomorrow is going to be. So at this green bar, we were predicting that Friday, which was actually red. Again, it was an inaccurate prediction, but we are predicting here that Friday is going to be a green day. And uh, Based on that prediction, either at the close of Thursday or at the open of Friday, we are going to either get a call or buy shares. If we are buying shares, then we are going to set a stop loss of around 1-2%. to 2 If we are buying calls, then we are going to set a stop loss of about 15-25-30%. to 25 to 30%. Okay. The stop loss part is very, very important because uh, market decks, if you just do this, if you just look at a bar and either at that close or at the open next day, just based on that bar from the previous day make a play then in about 58 percent of the cases you are going to be successful and let's see how your profits are going to look like so we can actually back test this so let's set the stop loss to one just use text not use any moving average and just look at the forward uh, returns for the next day like what would happen if based on today's bar i actually trade at the close of today and then exit tomorrow's close or if I trade at the open of uh, open of tomorrow and then close at the close of tomorrow. If we do that, then uh, we can see that this is a very, very unbelievable chart. And first, I would just uh, recommend that everyone does uh, everyone uh, does their own due diligence. But this chart looks really beautiful. 
and it is telling us that over the last year s p has been uh, i think down about one percent uh, right now if you were following dex you would be up about 80 percent these profits go to about 50 or 40 percent if you actually enter into a position at the open instead of entering at the close of the last day because a, a lot of money is made uh, during pre-market and after hours uh, movement in s p but still uh, you also avoid all the gap ups and gap downs if you are entering at the open and just uh, exiting the position at close but still this would be very green uh, we would still have the same sharp ratio and other statistics so if you enter at the if you enter if you enter at yesterday's close or at, at today's open both would work very well but the main part is that this is this looks very green so apparently this strategy has been working over the last year so with that knowledge that this strategy works if we look at today's bar to make a prediction for tomorrow then this thing works and this gives us very good profits so that's the first very simple strategy that you can make just look at today's bar and at the open tomorrow just set an uh, just set a set an order and add a stop loss and if that stop loss doesn't hit during the day then just exit the position at the end of the day now that's going to give you really good profits and you can do that for years and that would still be okay so now we have covered what do you need to do if you are just a day trader which is just follow and learn market net flow if you're a swing trader and, and you do not have any time then just follow this simple strategy okay and i will again uh, link the videos that go into details on some of these strategies uh, in the description but with that out of the way is there a way to combine them because we are saying uh, let's actually go back we are saying that this bar this red bar is the flow for the, the day and market net flow is also showing us the flow for the day which is why if we want to day trade then market net flow is a lot more granular it is showing you when flow is changing where flow is getting bearish this is just one bar so please do not day trade with it but uh, we entered like we had a bullish position here and our stop loss hit right away is there a way to actually improve that like is there a way we could have avoided a stop loss on friday because thursday was bullish so we were going to enter a bullish we, we were going to enter a bullish position but friday was a massacre so there was a huge red candle is there a way to avoid that that's where this sort of uh, conjunction of where to actually combine market net flow and market dex comes in so let's now talk about that okay so let's assume this was a green bar and we were supposed to buy a call at the open of next day which would be friday a really good thing that you can do if you have some time is wait before there is a clear direction in the market net flow so just have a bullish sentiment going to the next day but do not enter right away wait until there is a clear uh, distance between the calls and the puts line which would be the red and green lines here once you see that then let's assume we were uh, going to go bullish like keep that same sentiment don't change that sentiment all day if you are not a day trader if you are a day trader again skip tax at the start of every day just look at the market net flow but if you lie somewhere in between and if you do want to use both of these and understand both of these then take a look at the, the the decks get the direction for the next day from from the decks and then enter a position as soon as the market net flow gives you a notion of that direction again so if we were bullish on thursday and we were going to enter a position on friday wait until there is a clear bullish flow on friday in the market net flow now that did not happen here you can see that flow never really the calls flow never really took off and actually about one hour after the market opened about one or two hours puts started to increase quite a lot so now they they started to be very bearish flow about one hour uh, into the market open now th that tells you that there was no signal for an entry for a bullish play all day and you don't have to like spend all day looking at market net flow chart just spend the first one hour and if you do see like some uh, strong flow where calls are let's say going up 
and puts are going down that means more call buying and more put selling both are bullish signals if you do see something like that then just like open a position and close it at the end of the day or if the stop loss hits then you close it obviously before that but that's another way now that's like a, a mid way on actually leveraging market net flow to time your entries uh, not exits because with exits just keep the exit at the end of the day that's very convenient otherwise now you're starting to become a day trader do not do that if you are already not a day trader but you can time a really good entry or you can stay away from that 1% or 10% or 20% stop loss if you just keep an eye on the market net flow for the first 30 to 45 minutes of the day if you did some if you, if you did see some uh, bullish flow then you would again go ahead you would go ahead buy a call and you would set a stop loss or exit at the end of the day now that would and uh, now let's talk about some pros and cons that would decrease your profits a little bit because uh, the movement at the first 30 minutes of the of the day sometimes is very volatile so you might not be able to capture it uh, and since dex is already about 60% accurate in at least 60% of the cases it is going to be accurate in predict predicting the movement for the entire day so what we are trying to do is now add another 5 to 10% on top by just being very accurate so this will limit your losses quite a lot but it will also slightly limit your profits and that's fine with many people so if you are one of them and then use this sort of combined uh, strategy another thing obviously is like you you do have to spend some time looking at the market net flow uh, so there is that but overall this is like a, a more risk averse strategy so if you want to have slightly lower profits but sl very low risk then this is something uh, that you can use you can actually go further uh, on when to actually enter and if you don't know much about market net flow then just use the uh, convergence indicator or the momentum indicator so for instance let's assume this was a bearish bar and we were going to uh, we were planning on going bearish once this momentum turns negative even here or let's assume here once this turns negative and uh, we are just skipping the first half an hour because of volatility because if we do want to get a clear a uh, entry signal from market net flow then in most cases you will find that we get a clear signal after about half an hour sometimes we do uh, earlier as well but there is a lot of volatility in the first 30 minutes but we we get uh, let's say a signal around around here where you can see puts starting to go up calls starting to go down then you'll see those signals in the convergence and momentum indicator we have so this was a bearish signal around here and you can see we went from 414 to about 404 so that's how you can sort of combine market net flow and dex you, you if you if it it really pays off because we have really good statistics for how dex works we don't have very thorough and comprehensive uh, back test for market net flow yet we will soon but right now we really know how dex works over the last one and a half year and so with that knowledge and with that confidence sometimes we do not want to be hitting these stop losses so how do we avoid that you avoid that by being very precise with your entry setting a stop loss and then just letting your profits run and uh, that's actually it about the discussion on how to merge them i would still like to emphasize that if you are a day trader stick with the market net flow if you are a swing trader and you do not have time just stick with the market dex if you have a little bit of time spend the first 15 minutes if you have more spend the first 30 minutes or 45 minutes looking at the market net flow to make sure that the direction of the next day is actually following the sentiment of the bar that market dex printed the last day or the direction that the market dex printed the last day so if in 15 or 30 minutes we saw a huge sort of uptick in calls and a downtick in puts then we would just enter and go away do our work and look at that position at the end of the day now how does that work how much performance increase or degrade do we get that's something that we are actively working on and it hopefully uh, should be there on the website pretty soon uh, where you will be able to do a lot more comprehensive back tests you can also uh, you can already do good back tests with the dex tool but we are also going to at least work on over the next couple of weeks to months on adding back tests for market net flow but i hope this helps clarify uh, some differences between market net flow and dex 
uh, which people should use which tool and if someone wants to combine these two how can they actually go about combining these such that they have slightly more profitable or slightly less riskier signals and entries because 60 percent and this is very important when you're using market decks or even when you're using market net flow i don't think this is uh, more than 65 percent accurate as well the profits or the power of market net flow and market decks comes from getting out early because we have good indicators we, we we let you know when to get out we have an we have an entire video on convergence that gives you precise entries and exits so the power of the market net flow and decks comes from the fact that when we are wrong we get out very early but when we are right we bank very big so even with the 60 to 65 percent accuracy the reward to risk ratio is actually very very high and that's where you are seeing those beautiful performance charts because anytime you are wrong you exit your position with a one percent stop loss but anytime you are right since you are always entering and exiting at the same time entering at open or close of last day and then exit exiting at the close of today if the stop loss doesn't hit then there are many days when we gain one two percent or more and those are the days that are giving you all your profits uh, sometimes we, we let's say don't go up but uh, our stop loss sometimes we don't go in the direction of the decks but our stop loss also doesn't hit we just make a small uh, move in the opposite direction so those are small losses so the whole idea is to be accurate more than the random chance which would be 50 percent at 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 least five to ten percent on top of that but then also make sure that the risk to reward ratio uh, is very very good so if you're following market decks and you play for 20 days and you are wrong about eight days do not think that this tool does not work this tool works you have the back tests in front of you in the long run you are going to get good profits it's just that the accuracy isn't that high the reward to risk ratio is and once you start sort of uh, following these plays you'll actually i don't have to tell you that you will actually see that in your uh, portfolio as long as you are following strict instructions on which strategy should you be using if you're an expert then that's the strategy that we talked about where you're combining these two but if you're just joining tradetics and if you're very new to these things then please stick to a fixed strategy do not add a lot of thought or a lot of complexity to the strategy because you have a back test it tells you how well this works it gives you clear pros and cons if you are not okay with the 60 or 65 percent accurate strategy then you should not be using any of these uh, tools that we mentioned today but if you are okay with that but you want to have consistent and uh, sort of long-term returns then this is something even consistent short-term returns because these are pretty short-term tools uh, then this is something that you should uh, be looking at uh, just to show you something really cool uh, in august i believe let's start from here so we were about 80 percent cumulative profits we are ending august at about 85 or 86 percent again we had uh, bad days we had good days but s p is down about one percent in the month of august up till now from first to 29th but the deck strategy and these are live like this is where we actually launched at the start of august and we have been actually making these plays that you're seeing here so those five percent these are in commons not in options so all the back tests are in shares so these are like dex is up five percent s p is down minus one percent I hope that tells you more than enough as to how well this works and whether you should be using it or not. Other than that, I'll stop ranting about how good or how bad this is. I'll just let you guys uh, get what you wanted to get out of this video, which was how, what are the differences, what are the similarities. Very similar, trying to do the same thing, but DEX is more suitable for predicting the next day's direction. Market net flow is very, very good for intraday trading. Uh, I hope you, you get that knowledge out of this video. I'd highly advise spending some time with these tools. I hope they'll make uh, a lot of improvements in your trading and in your portfolio returns. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please feel free to post them in, in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys around.